Hive. This is another black girl that we've got. Today she's getting a haircut. F244. She's lovely. I just want to show this seems to be a good example of what we don't want in our yarn as far as our sinfully soft milled yarn. When I shear this, see I've sheared part of her leg. There's two colors here, actually three, but it, she's losing color down here, which is typical. But this right here is a new growth. So we have two separate growths coming in. If, when I shear this, I get both lengths and uh, it makes uh, for havoc in your yarn making uh, for milled yarn creates pills and breakage because typically what you want when you mill your yarn is wool of the same length um, even when you're doing your blending angora merino uh, whatever you want to add to it you want similar lengths and we're starting off with two different right here so everything that I come off of this baby girl will not be going into our yarn although it is heavenly and it will go in to make my hand spun stuff and I have a special method that I use um, for our mill spun anyway I was going to share just a little piece here And I want to show you something just to demonstrate. I'm going to take just a little bit of that. I don't even need that much. Here's a second cut. We don't want that. Let's see. I'm pulling the longer wool out, and here's that shorter wool. So we have two different lengths. Not, not what we want. And another way to kind of tell on the rabbit, I think she'll hold still. She's being a real good girl. Just a real small lock, maybe even half that. But you can see the different in color there. This is lighter, this is darker, Oops, starting right there. And it's still attached to the rabbit, but I'm going to gently pull. This is all longer. Beautiful wool. Nice, strong. There's nothing wrong with that. It's beautiful. But what's left is about this much. 